Okay. Let's see, I don't see anyone yet. Okay. Am I live? I don't know. I'm trying to, there I am. I'm trying to see if I can bring me up here one comment. down but I'm not seeing comments. Good morning Debbie. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, shoot, I meant to take those stars off. I'm so sorry. But anyway, you all know I donate my stars, right? So last month I got donated to a website or an organization called Cancer Care and we earned $16.50 off of the stars. So I want to thank everybody. And on top of that, I did the two pictures that I auctioned off, and we made an additional $190 off of those. So I was able to donate, um, what, $206.50? Anyway, thank you for being here. We are on a limited time. So I am part of Maddie's Mystery Box Challenge. This month, um, Lindy got me, and I was so excited. So we're going to go ahead and open this, because I'm so excited, can't wait anymore, right? Okay. Oh, Jackie, welcome to Cater, Alabama. Hello, my sweet friend, Lindy. I'm so excited. You got me for the Halloween one. There. Mr. T probably packed this. Hello, Kathy. Thank you for being here. Okay, do we have a note? I think I'm going to try to find a note first. Ah, so pretty. Okay, let's see what it says. Hi, sweet Josie. I hope you have fun with the items I chose for you. The main one I would like you to use is the Rustic Flag Kit. I know whatever you do will be amazing. Okay, the, we're going to get down. I'm sure it's down at the bottom. Look at that. Oh, my God, I love it just the way it is. These beautiful flowers. Right? Sorry. No, let me get my... There we go. Then I, I can kind of see. We've got some of these. I'm in such a hurry because we only have an hour. These are gorgeous. These are wood. Wow. So there are four of these in the bag. Let's go ahead and take those out. So today our theme is, um, I think it's giving thanks is what I read. So basically, right, what we're thankful for. We also um, have to use a popsicle stick or craft stick. So I have it right in front of me. Hopefully I won't forget. Ooh, some pretty ribbon. Oh, beautiful napkins. I was watching Lindy. Oh, and I love this napkin. I love them all. They're beautiful. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. We'll see what we're going to do with the flag. I haven't gotten down to the flag yet. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, feathers. These are from, oh my gosh, it's her sister-in-law. And I'm so sorry. I can't remember her name off the top of my head right now, but um, I bet these, and I could be wrong. I'm going to say these might be from her fancy chickens, her friend, you know, so beautiful. Okay. Are they pine cones, Jody? No. Oh, wait a minute. They are that look like flowers. I have never seen pine cones that look like this. They're absolutely gorgeous. Alrighty. Now, I am... Oh, okay. So, what it, the flag kit. Are you going to guess, would it be like that? I am going to say this is one of Tater Buggins um, craft kits. So if you have not seen any of their kits, 
Oh shoot, I have Sally in the other room. Otherwise I'd show it to you. It's a turkey and it's absolutely adorable. And I'm already thinking if it didn't have a gobbler on it, it could be any kind of bird. So I'm gonna set the box aside. Lindy, maybe I need to ask Lindy. Okay, they are wood roses. They came from the Sweet Pole in Washington. You know what? They almost look like they would be a pine cone, but like maybe something really organic, right? They're beautiful. So, oh God, I think I remember um, Lisa putting this together. I just cannot remember how it's put together because of the holes. So I guess I'll just have to figure this out. Thank you, Lindy, for posting your link. Yes, we have to support each other's, you know, business. All right, so let me grab, right, the main one. I would like to use the rustic. I know whatever you do will be amazing. So maybe then it just becomes a fall kit, right? And I'm thinking, thinking, thinking here, what do I want to use? I even have some fall Oh, oh, this is pretty. I thought that was going to be like um, the one I just saw Debbie use. All right, grab your scissors. I'm going to use one of these. I feel stumped. I do, I do, I do. I love doing these challenges. It really makes you have to use my imagination. Uh oh. But you know, for that few minutes, you are kind of stumped, right? Because you're on a time limit. So, if we take this. Um, I'd like to do different ones, and I do have some paper that would probably go great. So I think I'm going to grab mine. Um, 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 um. I was looking. Let's see. Right? We want to... Oh, that's kind of cool. That's like corn. See, I want them all to kind of coordinate, right? Could also, I'm here, I'm just picking out paper. Maybe, oh, there we go. That could be kind of cool, right? Maybe, let me leave that open for now. I'm thinking, I'd like to use one of the napkins she sent me because it's really pretty. Maybe that becomes the bottom one because that would kind of anchor everything, right? I could use the leaves or even those leaves would be really pretty. Okay, let me kind of draw this out. Oh, I kind of like having some of that green. I don't need to draw it out. Just, you just need to cut it out. Right, 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 right. So I think that could be pretty. That could be pretty. Then, what are we thinking here? Two ups and a down. Two ups. Oh, is that how it goes? Wait, two ups and a down. Oh, like that? Oh, okay. Is that what you mean? No. Two ups? No. Like that? I'm, it's these holes. Okay. I'm stumped. Two ups and a down. One across, one horizontal at the top, and the other two vertical at the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to. I'm going to guess that, I love this, 
the holes are probably don't need to go a special way, right? That's probably depending on how I want to do it. All right. So let's do something like this. I'm not sure I like that. What do you think of the maze? That's it. But turn the top one with the holes in the bottom. Okay, that's my top one. So the holes like that. What am I missing here? Is that right? The wire is to assemble the wood. So the oh, oh, okay. So the wire is... So would it be, oh, I get it, like that, right? So it could be hanging, is that right? Like that? Whoa, I better, let me bring it down, because it looks like I'm kind of working weird. Okay, I'm thinking like, yes, got it, okay. So I can do the holes, I can go ahead and cover the holes, and then later I can uh, fix that. So I think what I want to do, Oh, it won't matter, right? It won't matter. The top one is the most important to have that on correctly. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Thank you, I'm glad I asked, and I'm glad I'm looking. I like this one, and I'm thinking, for whatever reason, I kind of like, do you like this one? What if, right, just kind of, like right through here, I kind of like the darkness of this. This stands out. I think that's what we're going to do. I wish I could figure out how I could keep my comments up and showing. For some reason, I just have never been able to do that. I don't know if it's the age of my iPad or if it's um, a Facebook thing. All right. So that's what we're going to do. All right, all right, all right, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere, okay. And I want the green here to show, I like that green leaf. I am going to use, I'm gonna use, because this is really thick scrap of paper, I'm gonna use my matte medium instead of um, force field or meltdown. And I thought I threw, Oh, here they are. Okay. Let's get these decoupaged on. If I wasn't on a time crunch, I would... Oh, no, I guess I wouldn't have to. This is thick enough. I'm thinking with the raw wood, maybe I would have um, considered putting a base coat of paint on the wood, but I think I can make it work because the medium, <clears throat> excuse me, the medium is so thick. And you know, if you watch me, I like to use my brayer. Whoop, shoot. Hopefully I don't have to go back and apply more medium. I wasn't paying attention to how close, and I like that raw edge that you get when you sand it. That'll work. Okay, and then I have to pay more attention when I do this one. The napkin will be easier because I left it bigger. Okay, so it's so funny. We are, all of us are similar in what we're so thankful for. I have to say, um, I'm thankful for all the above, what everybody else has said. But something, there's been this stumbling block. We, we're getting a house designed, and um, it's almost done. And I feel like every time we're close to submitting, like, you know, submitting for permits, that something happens. There's a roadblock somewhere. And that's what happened this week 
we were so close to getting um, the house, you know, at least, you know, some acre permits or whatever. Well, it doesn't look like, you know, our septic area might have to be moved, which means actually not moved. The house has to be moved, which we already did. And, you know, I start feeling, you know, kind of sorry. For, I'm not going to say sorry for myself, but I'm like, oh my gosh, we have been dealing with this house, these house plans since 2020. So right, three years, more than three years. And I finally realized, you know what, Josie, you just have to be thankful you have a, a rental house to, that, you know, it's not our house, we're renting a house to live in, that you have a roof over your head. How about all those homeless people that don't, right? You've got beautiful, wonderful husband, kids, grandkids, in-laws. I have so much to be thankful for and I have to quit, you know, kind of like having like, oh God, when am I going to get my house? When is it going to finally happen? And just be grateful for the fact that I have a roof over my head and I have a house to live in. I've never been one to like, I, I, you know, I'm not that person, that poor me person. But you know, once in a while, you know, I'm like, is this ever going to happen? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. It's okay if it crinkles because actually I'm going to be layering this right with um, some of the elements that Lindy sent. Okay. This probably would have been really good to use the force field or um, something else on. But anyway. Deborah Mixon, how are you? Yours turned out lovely as usual. You know, it's funny. Um, hey, Deb Brown. This is what's kind of funny. My husband, Mr. Pixie, this morning goes, what does everybody do for an hour? How do you keep their attention for an hour? Well, hopefully, and I just had my brand new, there we go. Hopefully, my craft, and all I'm doing is sanding this off, that's all. Hopefully my craft will keep your interest, and hopefully you'll want to, you know, sprinkle it out, share whatever you're going to do. I think I can say share when, I don't know if Facebook catches that or not. Probably so. They've got all the bots and all that, but oh well, I just said it. I just said it. And then what I, I may not be able to, um do a drawing until after my life is done. We'll see how far we get. But somebody is going to be gifted. I decided a package of pixie dough. Oh, and I'm gonna show you what that is. Cause I am seeing that a lot of people don't know what it is. So give me a second and I will show you what pixie dough looks like or what the package looks like. And it's a big package. When you look at the size of pixie dough, it is equivalent to a one a pound package of white paper clay. That's one. You know, Lindy was, who was it that was saying, oh, it's Debbie, you were saying you haven't eaten. I haven't eaten either, I'm hungry. My stomach gets in these knots. I had one cup of coffee, and I am doing half-calf now, half decaf, calf half Caffeine, I mix my beans. I probably could be doing this and reading, right? Um, and at, right after my live, we have to leave for Las Vegas. That's where our family lives. And we're going to be spending um, Thanksgiving with them. But also, Mr. Pixie, he has a real job. <laughs> he has what I call the pain job, right? And he has meetings in Las Vegas all week. So it works out perfect that we get to see our family and spend the week with them. And then tomorrow, people probably would think this is really weird, but I guess if you knew me, 
I always hope people think that I have a kind heart, because I try. But uh, tomorrow, my ex-mother-in-law, who I've been married to Mr. Pixie. I've been divorced from my ex-husband for, God, since what, 94, 1994, I think? Anyway, um, she's now in a nursing home on, with an onset of dementia. And she had my daughter call me uh, a couple weeks ago, and I promised her when I came for Thanksgiving that we would go out to lunch. So tomorrow, my daughter and I are taking her out to lunch. Yeah, a lot of people wonder, like, how can you, how can you, I'm not friends with my ex-husband, not what, whatsoever. I have no respect for the man, but I love his wife. But she's like wife number five, I'm wife number one. So I love his wife. Um, I don't really see, I see them at the grandkids, like when the chill, when my kids have, you know, birthday parties for the grandkids. And to see him means nothing to me, right? Sometimes you just have to, during the course of time, you have to just like, you know, you just like go, you don't care anymore. So that's why I can go to lunch with my ex-mother-in-law. And, you know, it's so sad. My dad had dementia, so it's really sad to see their memories go and the fact that every time they call, you know, my daughter calls on, you know, they want to talk to me. She's always like, you know, you're my favorite daughter-in-law. You're the mother of my grandchildren. I always try to be a good daughter-in-law. And I'm for, I've always been fortunate that, you know, um, Mr. Pixie's parents, oh shoot, I'm sticking. Well, now we know for sure something's going there. This is still very sticky. Anyway, his parents love me, I love them. I love my ex-in-laws, well, my father and unfortunately passed, but I love them too. Oh, so this, and that gel medium is really sticky and it didn't dry as well or as, as when I use um, Meltdown or Forest Field. But it's going to work because I have to, I want to use the wood flowers. This is going to be a cute little fall banner when it's all set in done and I better keep track of my time, right? Okay. Want to make sure I got everything correct, right? All right. So what I'm gonna do is I do have my type on. That's probably a better glue. So the wire is gonna go through here. You can see, right? Oh, let me move this over. Sorry, I'm watching from my iPad. So. Okay. Oh, listen. My mom lives with me and my husband has. Oh, your husband has dementia? Oh, Jackie, I'm sorry. I know my, like I said, my dad did, and it's so sad to see them deteriorate like that. All right. You know what I might do? Now, no, oh, I'm going to have to cover that. So we'll probably end up doing like a trio of something. Uh, hmm. It could go like something like this, right? I don't want to, oh, that's a pretty one too. I don't want to force these. Let's see, we have the ribbon and we've got the feathers. Let's look at some of these feathers. Could be so, oh yeah. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab some of our liquid pixie dust. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just run some around my finger. And I think I'll grab um, New Penny. It's 
Oh, while I'm talking, here. While I'm thinking about it, I'll show you. My daughter will send you one, but see how big that is? That's a big, big package of pixie dough. That's what we're going to get today, okay? Um, all right, so I'm going to just put some of this in a little container. And we're just, I'm just going to run my finger. So pretty. And then what I can do later is I can go back and, you know, if I want to, I can paint my raw edges with this. That would look really pretty. So if you've never tried our paints or our metallics, I mean, our paints are wonderful. They're chalk paints. But I do have to say there's something about these metallics that are just absolutely gorgeous that they're highly pigmented so you're going to get some really really good coverage and currently we typically have 11 colors in the metallic so liquid pixie dust is what we call it except the paint company is having a hard time getting the pigments to make our enchanted forest which is the dark, dark green. So I don't think that's going to be in stock for a while from what they told me. And from what I know about a good metallic, um, you know, it's, I've always been told that the metallic is actually metal flakes, gold and silver metal flakes, right? And a good quality comes from Europe. So my guess is with everything going on, in Europe and the Middle East that, you know, Israel and all that, it could be why maybe um, if they're getting their products from there, maybe that's why they're not able to get, I'm thinking maybe the gold flake. All right, so I'm going to make sure I've got my holes going right away, right? So I'm so sorry. You know what? If any of you can tell me how you keep your comments up on your iPad, I would really appreciate it because I even have it set to never go to sleep. But So it's not going to sleep. I'm just losing my comments. All right. So, okay. Have an hour. We're good. I think. Oh, and I have to remember to use this. Oh, you know, I could. You know what I'm going to do? I am. I'm going to paint this in the new penny. And I think I'm going to use it to hide, there we go, to hide where I accidentally ripped the paper. And then I can, oh, you know what, too? Hmm. I keep thinking all this stuff is going through my head. I have some, like, Jenga blocks. Let's see what I have left. I'm thinking if I raise this, maybe with some blocks. And then I also, I do have some cutouts that say, blessed and thankful and all that and maybe that goes across the top right we give it some dimension I think that's what we're going to do we probably won't see too much of that let me grab my blocks I think they are in here let's see I just want 
need to raise them, right? Oh. oh, and I better, if I'm going to use that, I better decide. Maybe that should have been the copper. All right, let me, sorry, I'm just... find my blocks. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure I threw them in here. Find them when I'm not looking for them, right? How can we improvise? Did that work? If I glued, all right, glue that on. That would fit perfectly. Then. That and then paint this a different color, but I don't like that. If they were the blocks, and I'm like, what the heck did they do with my blocks? I know I had a few left. I had a pie. I'd really like to. I'm thinking, right. Right, I, I want to give it like real, um, really make it stand out. And then paint thankful in a different. Oh, and I just broke it. But I have many more. Okay, so let's let's do this. It's my time. We're going to stack these. Okay. Whoa, that's a, a bit much. To, I'm thinking I better uh, maybe I can do this. I'm gonna use these, right? But I want to paint the edges in the new penny. Otherwise it's gonna look odd. We'll get it done. Here we go. A little finger painting, move that over, move that over, okay, see, now you know if you can't find your chain box, you can make your own uh, stackable whatever. Right? Let's see if that's going to work. Because I really do want. I'm going to dry this real quick. Because that one will go on the top. Smith, how are you? Yeah, we, um, it's been, like, I've been waking up to clouds here. 
probably have to touch that up. We've been waking up to clouds. And it was a little cloudy today. I thought, oh, maybe we'll get a little rain, even though we're traveling. As soon as I'm done, we're off to Las Vegas. Spend the week with the family. Okay, I'm probably going to have to touch up the edges. But for the time being, and I probably should have used hot glue, but oh well, I didn't. All right. All right. Okay. Now, and then I can do something like that on that. All right. I have a, I think I have another thing. another thankful. So let's do, not to tease you or anything, but I think I want to do my thankful in the color we're out of, right? Because I think it'd be really pretty. Unfortunately, it's not available, and I'm sorry I'm using it, but this is what I'm going to do. It's almost black. It's so dark. I think it'll be a pretty contrast um, with the new penny under it. What's everyone's plans for Thanksgiving? You know mine. We're going to be in Las Vegas. Spending it with the family. I'll be able to see um, both my daughters and my grandkids while I'm there. Well, hopefully I'll see all my grandkids. All but one. One lives in Florida. But um, the younger ones... He's 26, Anthony. He's in Florida. And hopefully the other ones will be there, not with their dad. And I think I am going to turn... I think I'm going to turn on my small... My small glue tool. Sorry, I got some of that on there. Whoops. Make it bubble. It's so hot. I think I'm going to do... Oh, I need a wire cutter, don't I? Figure out... Figure it out. Let's see if I can work on getting these assembled. Oh, I hope I didn't cover my holes. No, we're good there. Okay, let's... Oh. I might have to wait. I have to grab... I have to find some wire cutters, right? All right.
I, I tend to want to put my heat gun really close by, right? Let's see how this is doing. I want to use my little fine tip heat gun for that. Heat tool. Heat tool, Josie. Heat tool. Maybe. Right? Let's see. We'll get that on there. Let's face it towards you. I really do want to use these beautiful feathers. Right? The feathers. I'm thinking. Wow, these are gorgeous. Could be a, a oh, because I love I love the bottom of this. Could be something like this on one. It's kind of double up. Right? And then these will be hanging down. I can double up my flower there. What do you think? Does that look pretty? It's hard to get used to them. Everybody's gonna pick. Thank you, Dawn, for sprinkling me out. I appreciate it. I should have included a photo on it. Um, well, that's okay, Lindy. Um, you know what? I'm glad you're all here to guide me. And hopefully I'm doing it justice for you. So beautiful, right? Would you thankful? Let's see. I have one of these new. Do I have it plugged in? Yeah, I do. Let's see if it's hot enough yet. Let's see. I like this little mini glue tool because it's got the mini tip. And I have been wanting one for a long time. That's cordless. Ah. See why you hmm. now I can see why you can put both types of glue. I mean, you know, I think if it's my glue sticks, I'm not using the Chopin glue sticks. I do have some. I just thought, oh, what the heck? I may as well just use some that I had, but maybe that's not a good idea. It's hot. Could be too because it's fresh paint. That happens too, right, when you're trying to use hot glue sometimes. more like that, right? On that side. Seeing that the, right? Oh, my hands, my hands are sticky and full of paint. I'm sorry. Oops. I feel like I'm always apologizing to you because where did you get the glue tool? Um, it's a Sure Bonder, and I got it right off of their website. I forgot what I paid for it. 20 some. I think it was with shipping. Could be wrong, though. Sometimes we go in there and just buy stuff. <laughs> or was it pre shipping? I don't remember now. Alright, 
I should have put that back on the charger. So let's see. I'm thinking this one here. Back on the charger. one right here let's see I love the ends I'm gonna see look at all of these right I could maybe I'll do maybe Sorry, I'm just playing with these right now, trying to figure out how I want to kind of right add that. Okay. You know, I think we've all said, we told me she should sell these feathers. Her sister in law, maybe she does. I want, see, I want, I love how these just have that furriness to them. Oh, these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I do like this and then put one of the flowers right oh that looks like a double feather moving it, right? I keep moving it. I'm sorry. I think that would be very pretty, just like that. Oh, better get some more glue sticks. There's that. And this time I'll get a sure bonder glue stick. See if that makes a difference. I might end up, since I have several of these, right? I could, like that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tuck, see if this will work. There we go. I'm going to tuck that there. All right. a fan on? No. Are you hearing um, like a buzz, Kimberly? Because when I go to watch the, uh, oh, I rewatch my lives so I kind of learn from them what I shouldn't do. I hear a buzz and I don't know if it's, I'm wondering, let's see if this works. Tell me if that makes any difference if it stopped buzzing. You're hearing the buzzing, yeah. Does it still, do you still hear it? I wonder if it's this light. Hold on, we're gonna figure this out. Because I, wait, oh. I wonder if it's my overhead light. So I have these two lights off now. Did that, it stopped? Okay, maybe it's that one then. Let's see, tell me if you hear it. No, if you still hear it? Okay, well, we're almost done, but it thinks, uh, well, 
<laughs> now I feel like there's no light. All right, it's gotta be my overhead. I don't even know if this light is helping at all anyway, but oh, it does. Okay. Let's, I have 10 minutes, okay. That's on there. Let's get this. We're using the big one. Big glue gun now. And I guess I won't be able to use my overhead light. It's got to be that. I'll jump up in a minute and I'll turn it off and then you can tell me. Otherwise, I have no idea. It could be, I don't know if you know this or not, but um, Sedona is surrounded by a vortex, which is energy. And I live about a mile away from a vortex. And weird stuff happens. Wait. Trying to see if I get a flatter one. Not. Okay, we'll just use that. So anyway, I'm going to turn my overhead light off if it's still buzzing. You all have experienced what goes on in Sedona. It's a very spiritual place as well. And um, yeah, I'm going to go turn that off and we'll see. And then I'll know for sure. And I have, um, what's it called, the ringing in the ears, so I can't, I hear ringing all the time. Did that, did that stop it? Beverly, I'm in Sedona, Arizona. Um, all right, so, yeah, and I live, like I said, about a, a mile away from a vortex, which is energy. It's like the Earth's energy. You think it's my phone? Oh, Chris, you think it's my phone buzzing? I don't even know how to stop that. You think my phone's going bad? It is two and a half years old. I'm sorry, everyone. I don't know what to do about that. Um, all right, so let's... I've got eight minutes. Let's just try to get the wire cut. And then what I'll do is I will, about a minute before I'm finished, what we can do is um, I'll just scroll for somebody who's going to be gifted some pixie dough. So I want to do this. I think I want to come up. I'm going to come up through here. So, oh, Lindy, I hope this isn't painful for you to watch. I hope I haven't totally um, disappointed you with this kit. twist it, but it's not really going anywhere, right? Oh, and I should have measured them out. Okay. Denise, other crafters have had issues with the buzzing or the, the staticky noise. I apologize because I know when I go back and hear and listen to my lives, I hear it, and I really thought it might have been my light ring that my phone sits on. And I know it's annoying. And if it's annoying me, it's annoying you.
probably have to be worked differently. Maybe I use um, a different wire. Yeah. Did I? Okay, I used the box, right? I used several items. She didn't tell me other than the kit. I used my popsicle stick. I'm just trying to make sure I've used everything. I'll tell you what. Um, I think that will work. I think what I'm going to do is figure out the wire afterwards, and I should have. Um, I should have cut them all the same length, right? And now I'm just trying to wing it. That's totally my fault. Oh, you know what I did? No wonder it's weird. I got I have the wrong I have it in the wrong hole. Okay. I just realized. I'm like, why is it not lining up? Well, that's what happens, Josie. When you don't have it in the right hole. It's not going to line up properly. Okay. I think. Okay, three minutes. You know what? Let's just real quick do the scroll, see who's going to be gifted some pixie dough. I don't think I can do it from my iPad. Oh, I can. I'll do it from my iPad. Um, so, pixie dough, I want to show you real quick. Because I, other than me putting the wire on this, it's done. I don't know what else to do with it. So let me just show you, since I have a couple of minutes, this, this is pixie dough. Okay? And it has moisture to it, and a lot of us, what we'll do is we'll work it in our hands a little bit. One thing, if you're going to use it in molds, you can do it in two ways. You want to really give your mold a generous, um, I won't show you, but like one of our molds, this is one of our new ones, the crowns, you want to generously cornstarch it. Um, because our molds are really deep. Another thing you can do is, if you don't want to put cornstarch, you can go ahead and pop your pixie dough inside, stick it in the freezer for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, depending on the size of your mold, and it will pop right out. All right, so, um, see how fun? <laughs> and, oh, just to kind of show you what I did. Okay, this is one of our kits. It's our place card kit. And Benny is one of our elf molds that we have right now. I thought it'd be really cute if Santa had his own little place card. And Benny is our little mischievous um, elf. And so he's always trying to uh, gratiate himself to Santa. But anyway, I see you only have a minute. So let me scroll, 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 scroll here. Maddie, Maddie Bartram, Maddie, um, I'm going to be sending you a package of pixie dough. <laughs> so I want to thank Maddie so much for having me again. <laughs> um, I appreciate you all being here with me as well. I know that um, I'm kind of an airhead sometimes. But anyway, I hope you like what I did. I will work on... Uh, my wiring and it'll be something that I can hang. All right, everybody have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for all of you and for all of you being here. Love you all so much. Bye.